Hey, this is Randy from Funeral Funds of America. In this video, I'm going to talk about the actual cost for $10,000 worth of burial, cremation, final expense, life insurance, or funeral funds for a 71-year-old male. Now, the first thing you need to understand is you can go directly to our website at funeralfunds.com, and you can we've got these quarters on just about every page. You can click the state that you live on. We are licensed in all 50 states, by the way, and the coverage amount. And then uh, enter your birthday, other info, click Get Quotes Now, and it will take you to a page that's going to show you all the best insurance companies with all the lowest rates in your state. And you can be a very educated consumer and make better choices that way. You can also call us at 888-862-9456, and one of our agents can help you and get you pricing if that's what you prefer as well. Now, uh, first thing you need to ask yourself if you're a 71-year-old male is, is $10,000 worth of insurance going to be enough for your final expense needs? Now, if you're going to be cremated, the actual cost of a cremation in the United States right now is between one to $2,000. Now, uh, that's if you come home in a cardboard box or an urn. Now, if you're going to be cremated and have some sort of a ceremony, like a celebration of life or remembrance ceremony, that's probably going to be $3,500 to $4,500, including the cremation. So. $10,000 is going to be more than enough. In some cases, we probably wouldn't even recommend that, though. So, like, if you're coming home in a cardboard box or an urn, we would typically recommend maybe five dollars to $7,000. And if you're going to have that ceremony, probably seven dollars to $10,000. But just keep this in mind. If money's tight, just get what you can afford, even if it's like three, four, five, six, or 7000 whatever it would be. Get what you can afford, but you, you can always add more coverage later. But with first day coverage, you're guaranteeing that your, your family's going to get some money, some much needed money when you do pass away. Now, if you're going to be buried, the average cost in the United States right now for a burial is right around $10,000. But I, I can tell you one thing, uh, $10,000 is not going to be a fancy funeral. It's not going to be extravagant. But in most parts of the country, if you walk into a funeral home with a $10,000 check, they'll get it done. But, uh, you know, because kind of like, why would they want to let that check walk down the street to one of their competitors? But just understand, it's not going to be anything fancy. So we would typically recommend maybe like between 10000 15000 maybe even 20000 depending on your budget. But, um, you know, just inflation-proof the plan, because if you're age 71, you probably want to make it to 81. You might want to make it to 91. So just uh, really, though, I want you to come back to my point that, Get what you can afford right now. If all you can afford is 10000 for a burial, do that right now. That helps your family immediately, and you can always add more coverage later. Now, one thing we always recommend as well is get first-day coverage or first-day benefits. So the reason you want that is you want to avoid a two-year waiting period plan where they don't pay out any death benefit for, for, for any health or medical reason uh, related cause of death in the first two years. So with first day coverage, what that means is hypothetically, if you your insurance policy was approved today and you died tomorrow, the insurance company would pay out that money even after one day. So it's the best coverage you can get. It's also the least expensive. So um, now a lot of people would say, well, I, yeah, I, I want that first day coverage, but I, I heard those policies ask health questions and I'm not in the best of health. Well, our answer to that is, you know, let us worry about that. That's our problem, not yours. We work with enough different insurance companies that uh, they all have different underwriting requirements. And we've got like a 90 to 95 percent approval rate for first day coverage or benefits. So let us work with you on there. We can certainly help you out there. Now, the only reason you wouldn't qualify for first day coverage is if you had some really significant health or medical issues going on. So like, say you had a terminal illness and you're going to pass away in the next 12 months or if you had dementia or you were on dialysis or you were in a hospital or a nursing home, if that were the, the case, we'd probably recommend you out to a different insurance company. The other thing that happens, seems, seems like it happens once a week anyway, is somebody will call us and say, hey, we had a family member pass away uh, this last week and they didn't have insurance and we don't have any money and their body's at the funeral home and the funeral home director says they're not going to do anything without a check in their hand. So we need to get this insurance really quickly so we can get a check in our hands, so we can get a check into the funeral director's hands and get our family member buried or cremated or whatever. 
So we have to tell these people, unfortunately, there is no insurance company in the United States that's going to pay out or issue a policy on a dead person. So it's just not the way it works. You have to actually be alive to get a life insurance policy. So it's so unfortunate that, you know, somebody thought they were going to probably do this at some point and they just never got it done and then they died. And now their family members have this incredible financial and emotional burden that they're dealing with. And it's just, it's a terrible legacy to leave behind where, where every time your name comes up to family members, they're going to come back and think about how you didn't take care of this and it was such a burden on everybody else. So don't be that person. Don't be that person. This insurance is affordable. Just get what you need. You know, if you can't afford as much as you want, just get as much as you can afford. It's definitely going to help your family. Now, we, we, we don't recommend, again, the two-year waiting period plans because they're not going to pay any death benefit in the first two years if you die of any health or medical reason. Now, Colonial Pen is one of the more well-known ones. I think it's simply because they, they advertise a lot. It seems like their TV commercials are on like every seven minutes. But um, it's a, their 995 plan is a two-year waiting period plan. And there's other companies out there that are two-year waiting period, like uh, Mutual of Omaha, their United of Omaha product, uh, AIG, Gerber. And there's other companies out there too. And that's all they do is sell two-year waiting period plans. And some of these companies have done a tremendous job of convincing the American public over age 50 that the only thing they qualify for is a plan with a two-year waiting period. And nothing could be further from the truth. And when we hear that, we just go, ha, 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 you are so misinformed because we help people with first aid coverage all day long. Now, the other thing is a lot of people, 71-year-old males especially, would see that Colonial Pen commercial and they'll go, oh my gosh, I, I waited this long and now it's finally time to get my 995 plan. And I'm sure it's going to pay out like 20,000 or 30,000 or 40,000 or maybe even 50,000. <laughs> and then they uh, talk with a Colonial Pen agent or they log online and see a, a male age 71 for $9.95 will buy $657. $657 for one unit. What is that going to buy? You know, that, I don't know of any place in the United States that, that would buy even a cremation. And it doesn't really matter because this policy is not going to pay out for two years. It's got a two-year waiting period, and that's $657 is going to be worth less in two years than it is today. So just be very careful, you 71-year-old males, on all the marketing and all the hype and how a lot of times it doesn't make any sense. But let's see what $10,000 would be. Now, it, we, we can't get exactly $10,000 for a 71-year-old male because the per unit pricing kind of spits out a, a really wackadoodle number, like 657. Let's just see how close we can get. I'm going to guess it's like 12 units, maybe. I'm just going to guess. No, nope, we're not even there. They max out at 15 units, so we might 14. Oh, we're going to maybe max this thing out. Ah, yeah, we maxed it out. Yeah, they don't. you can't even get $10,000 worth of insurance through Colonial Pen for a 71-year-old male. You, you, you get $9,855. And, and, and don't, don't forget, you get that two-year waiting period, too. But let's take a look. I mean, this is... 149.25. So let's just round that up. And that is roughly $150. Boy, that math was hard real quick. So let's see. Let's see what $10,000 would cost with first day coverage. So we've got $10,000 here, male, age 71. I'm going to click to get the quote. And we're going to go back and just double check this. Again, this is 10,000 roughly. It's not even 10,000, roughly 10,000 for 150. We can get first day coverage for $73. Let me show you the numbers. I want to make sure you see I'm right. $10,000 for roughly $73. And uh, Trinity Life Insurance, they're a great company. We work with them. Uh, level coverage, they've got very flexible underwriting. Level means first day coverage, $73. So when you go over here, and this isn't even $10,000, but Colonial Pen is literally way more than 200% more expensive for a policy that pays 
less than 10,000 for a policy that has a two year waiting period and for a policy where you're going to overpay for the rest of your life. And uh, we don't recommend that. If we go back and look, we were roughly 73 up to 149. I'm going to just uh, average that out and say that's roughly $75 more a month that you get to overpay for the rest of your life. So that would be roughly $900 a year that you'd overpay. And if you live 10 years up to age 81, you get the privilege of overpaying right about $9,000, $10,000 policy. Does that make sense to go with Colonial Pen? When you're going to overpay after 10 years, $9,000 on a $10,000 policy compared to an insurance company with first day coverage. We don't think it makes sense, but eh, you might be okay with that. We, we, we don't think so. But um, let's look down at some other insurance companies. You'll be able to see all of these on our quarter. Let's try to find another company that advertises quite a bit, maybe. Oh, yeah, we got Lincoln Heritage here. So uh, they're a fine company, I guess. They, they are quite a bit more expensive. A level coverage means first day coverage. Now, they're more expensive because they've got a plan where it, when you pass away, they will call like two or three funeral homes to like, you know, get the lowest pricing. They may do a couple other things as well, but you pay for that. It's not free. You pay for that. So that's 95 down to 73. So that is roughly, it's like 22. We're just, we're just going to say it's $20 for easy math. So uh, roughly $20 more a month. That's $240 extra a year. If you live another 10 years, you'll have overpaid roughly $2,400, roughly $2,400. So let me ask you this. Is it worth, in your mind, is it worth paying an insurance company right around $2,400 more to make a few phone calls and maybe do a couple other things? Most people would say, Hey, that seems pretty expensive. And, uh, you know, we would rather see you keep that money in your own pocket and spend it on your family versus give it to an insurance company. So what we've done is we've got a free funeral and estate planning guide. We provide that free of charge. And when you fill that out, it just tells everybody who gets what, what goes where, and what you want done after you're gone. So everything that you, when you fill that out, everything's crystal clear to your family what your final wishes are. And they're protected financially because they've got the insurance policy. And they're also protected emotionally because you've told them everything that you want done. And you just need to execute those final wishes. And we just recommend keeping that funeral and estate planning guide right with your policy. Everything's all in one place. And when that day comes, your family's going to be so grateful because they know they will know that you are thinking about them and caring about them and worried about protecting them while you're still alive and that you knew this day would come where they would be suffering your loss, and you unselfishly took care of them. And what an amazing gift to leave behind for your family and loved ones. So you can go to our website again, fill out a quarter. You can call us at our toll-free number, 888-862-9456. We'll have an agent help you. And if you have an existing policy and you just want to price shop it and make sure you get the best deal, we can help you out with that. If you want to add more coverage to your existing policy, we can help you out with that. If you want a brand new policy, we can help you out with that. And if you just want help or information or details, we can help you out with that too. So we we look forward to that day that we actually get to meet you and get to know you a little bit better. We're uh, looking forward to that day that we can help you. Until that day comes, you stay safe, you take care, and you have a nice day. Bye-bye.